Uh, I feel real good about the day. I just wanted to come out and just show that I can move in, in my pedal and I had quick feet, so I feel real good about the day. Was the pressure taken off because of the great combine you had? Oh, yeah, a whole lot of pressure was taken off. Uh, you know, I went to the combine. I was able to prove my speed. I think that was the biggest question about me, so it was a, a whole lot. It was a relief. You felt you proved a lot of people wrong? Yeah, I did. Uh, the whole week there, a couple of guys just telling me what they predict I was going to run, 4-5 or higher. So I feel that I proved myself and my speed. So I feel real good about that. Todd McShay's predicting first round. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's big. I'm, I'm very excited just, just to see where I'm going to go and, and what round. So. Is it, is it weird to you that people are a little bit surprised? Because you started since you got here. You just kind of low-key compared to Javi and all that. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's weird. Uh, you know, uh, once I kind of made that decision, I knew they was going to have something to say about uh, my game and how I play. So uh, I just didn't know it was going to be my speed. But like I said, uh, I just was pleased with, with the way I ran at the combine. I was able to, to prove a lot of people wrong. What was your 440 today? Oh, I didn't run the 40 today. No. You didn't do bench either today? No, no. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge at the next level? We're talking about Ron McClain. He, was, he said he thought it was, it was mental at the next level. I think that's what it'd be too. Uh, being in college, you know, you you have to do things because your coach is on you to do it. So you know, at the next level, no one's going to be on you to, to watch game film instead of your opponent. So I think it'll be mental too. How much you coach like Coach Saban working with you has been at that next level? How how advantageous for you to get that type of experience and knowledge from him? I was very fortunate to have Coach Saban as a coach. Uh, you know, he made me the player that I am today. Uh, as far as my technique, and you know, we play the NFL type defense, so I think I had an upper hand on a lot of guys in the draft as far as corners and, and being able to learn the different schemes and the different techniques. So uh, I was very fortunate to, to be honored to have him as a coach. He he seemed a little, maybe a little higher on you than some coaches when he was recruiting. Is that is that accurate? Because he he liked you enough to start you, right? Yeah, uh, you know. I like say from from coming out of uh, prep school, you know, that was my first year really playing corner. Uh, you know, he, he had faith in me to be able to bring me in, and, and I had a chance to come in early and learn the defense and, and how he wanted his corners to play. So, uh, you know, it helped me out a lot. Like I said, he, he's a great coach, and he helped me a lot, and I, I've grown as a player over the years under his uh, coaching. So, you know.